Hello, Answerly viewers. So, as far as I know, everybody loves Converse shoes. I've got four pairs in my closet right now at varying degrees of worn altitude, and they're my go-to shoe for almost any occasion. I was even in a wedding last fall where the entire wedding party wore Converse for the ceremony. But, how much do you actually know about the acclaimed Chuck Taylor All-Stars? Let's find out. The shoes were originally made by the Converse Rubber Shoe Company in 1907 and were called simply the All-Star. They were made in an attempt to corner the market on professional basketball shoes. In the 1920s, well-known basketball player and shoe salesman Chuck Taylor became the spokesperson for the shoe and also helped to improve the design. His signature was actually put into the ankle patch in the 1930s and is still there today. This is how the shoe went from being called the All-Star to the Chuck Taylor All-Star, or just Chucks. Before long, lots of professional basketball players were wearing Chucks All-Stars, and aspiring players envied the shoe. As the brand grew, it spread beyond basketball, and soon all of the participating members of the Olympics were wearing the shoe. Then, American soldiers started to wear Converse-made shoes in training for World War II. I had no idea. Guys, when we're wearing Converse, we're wearing battle shoes. They're even cooler now. This was also the time in the sort of 1940s-ish period that Converse added the white toe guard and laces and outer wraps, which is still the iconic look of the Converse shoe that we know and love today. In 1957, Converse released the low-cut Oxford version of the shoe, as well as offering it in a few different colors. It wasn't until the 1960s, though, that Converse decided to expand their company, opening more factories to keep up with demand for their shoe. By this time, Chuck Taylor All-Stars were being worn by 90% of professional and college-level basketball players. Once Chucks were being more easily mass-produced and came in different colors and varieties, other subcultures began to latch onto the simplicity of the rubber and canvas shoe. That's where we come in. The style of the shoe switched from a strictly athletic shoe to a more casual, versatile, all-occasions type of footwear. Converse shoes are arguably the official clothing piece of more subgroups of people than any other fashion item. They're worn by countless celebrities, especially punk musicians and rappers, and are the official shoe of choice of David Tennant's doctor in Doctor Who. Do you wear Converse shoes? And if so, what inspired you to do so? Did you have any idea that your favorite shoe had such a crazy history? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, it's game over.